Hello and Happy New Year from your host, Reverend Lorenz Treewalker, the Order of Standing Oak. And we are here on the channel of Pagan Perspective, bringing you the next installment in our series, Daily Druidry. I hope you all had a great holiday season. Hope you had a great Yule and a uh, good new year. We've got a lot of things going on uh, in the world, but uh, 2021 is going to be a great time. In today's installment of Daily Druidry, uh, we get a lot of questions, you know, from people going, what is the Order of Standing Oak? And they want to know a little bit more about who we are and what we do. Well, just to give you a little bit of a background, I started out in my pagan career as my pagan path as a, you know, your standard, um, you know, Wiccan that had been initiated into a coven. And after a period of time, I started to branch out and look at other forms and types of spirituality. And it came to the point that I kind of looked beyond the dualistic structure of Wicca and I said, well, there's got to be a little bit more. And I found uh, the studies and growth of uh, Irish Pantheist Druidry. And in the year 2000, a long time ago, uh, I decided to start a study group and group called the Order of Standing Oak, which is an Irish Pantheist independent uh, Druid order here in Springfield, Missouri. And ever since then, we've just grown and we've got a lot of people that are affiliated with the group. Uh, we've done podcasts and things and had a lot of great success with Beltanes in the Park, other public rituals, drummings, and just all kinds of things. But, you know, we also have those of people that are online and stuff and those of you that are watchers here on YouTube that kind of want to know uh, who, and, who and what are we about. So I'm going to tell you, I am the founder, Reverend, Reverend uh, Savannah Treewalker, the Order of Standing Oak. Uh, I am ordained in the state of Missouri and throughout the continental United States via the ULC. And uh, hopefully here soon, we will be getting our 501c3, um, and that will help us to be able to do more things in the community and help people and stuff like that. So that's a mission that we have going on. Um, but, you know, also we kind of have to give you an idea of what our order is about, what we believe, and how we structure things. So the first thing that we're going to talk about uh, for just a few minutes is the idea of the structure of the order, Standing Oak. And the first part of our social structure is the tribe. Standing Oak Druids consider themselves as part of a tribe. The tribe was the main social structure of most ancient peoples. It included the extended family that gave the individual his or her personal and social identity through its myths, traditions, and celebrations. This structure provided a forum for individual social expression. We honor this tradition of the tribe to help define our spiritual and social identity as a positive expression of our family bonding and to recognize that as a living tradition, we have the potential to evolve. The Grove the basic unit of standing oak, standing oak social structure is the grove. It is akin to parishes, covens, or churches. The use of the term grove reflects the Celtic tradition of worship within groves of trees. A grove consists of three or more people and is semi-autonomous. There is no limit to the number of members in a grove. Ideally, though, there should be enough members to effectively perform ritual. Groves may de develop rituals for their own specific use. However, the Standing Oak ritual structure must be used to be recognized as a grove of the Order of Standing Oak. Groves govern themselves but have the guiding influence of the Mother Grove. Groves are like families and although there may be differences in opinion, harmonious interactions should be fostered so that the spiritual and religious intent of the grove may be carried out with undue distraction. Be that as may, the process of sincerely working through differences can be one of the most educational processes a group can undertake. And then, you know, after the social structure, kind of have to look at what we believe. And this is one of the most important things. This is what kind of sets us apart from other Druidic orders, pagan and non-pagan. So we're going to go through that for just a quick minute. Okay, and what we have here is uh, the beliefs of the order of standing oak. Number one. Who or what is the Order of the Standing Oak? We are a positive path polytheistic Druid tradition in its beginning stages, dedicated to protecting and preserving our Mother Earth, honoring our ancestors, revering the spirits of nature, and worshiping the gods and goddesses of our Celtic heritage. Our focus will be on personal growth through a threefold development of mind, body, and spirit. 
Of these, we will give special attention to spiritual development through study and practice of Standing Oak ritual and Celtic magic. The beliefs of the, the Order of the Standing Oak. Number one, we believe in divinity as it is manifest in the Celtic pantheons and that pantheism, polytheism, panentheism, animism, and pan-polytheism are all valid theistic perceptions of the pantheon. We believe nature is the embodiment of the gods. We believe that natural, natural law reflects the will of the gods. We believe that all life is sacred and she should not be taken without deliberation or regard. We believe in the immortality of the spirit. We believe that our purpose is to gain wisdom through experience, and we may go through many incarnations to obtain that. We believe that learning is an ongoing experience and is encouraged at all ages. We believe that morality is a matter of personal conviction based upon self-respect and respect for others. We believe that evil is a matter of intent, not of inheritance. Therefore, actions in themselves are not evil. Rather, it is through the intent behind actions that evil manifests. We believe in the relative nature of all things. Nothing is absolute, and all things, even the gods, have their dark sides. We believe that every individual has the right to pursue knowledge and wisdom through his or her chosen path. We believe in honoring the gods through the cyclical celebrations of our Celtic ancestors. We believe in a living tradition able to adapt to a changing environment. Ethical concerns for the Order of the Standing Oak. The Order of the Standing Oak does not discriminate on the basis of age, although those under uh, age 21 require parental uh, consent. Race, color, national origin, or sexual preference. The reason why that we say this about the people being under 21, um, mostly because where we live here, it is that you have a lot of people that are of the Christian tradition, and if you're not careful and you take someone's son or daughter and to teach them, or they become a part of the grove, or, or this, that, the other thing, uh, they can become kind of upset about it and get very litigious and mean. So just to take care of our people and be safe and for the harmony of everything we just ask that anyone that's under 21 uh, if you are not on your own that a parent or guardian uh, somebody that is uh, tied to you gives us the notice of some kind of permission that they would allow you to uh, be a part of what we do at no time shall a member of the order engage in the practice of blood sacrifice nor shall any of our tradition participate as part of his religious practice, torture of enslavement, mutilation, or abuse of any sentient creature for the purpose of spiritual gain. Every member of the order shall keep confidential the names, addresses, phone numbers, and places of employment of other members of the order, except where permission has been given to divulge this information by the party concerned, or in cases where a person is deemed a public threat. In these cases, confidential information may only be revealed to those authorities whose jurisdiction in the matter of conduct falls. It is the tradition of our order to work robed. It is the tradition of the order to induce altered states through drumming, chanting, and meditation. While psychoactive substances of various sorts have been used by traditional societies for this purpose, only legal substances will be used during any standing oak ritual. We will not sanction bigotry, slander, or perjury, or other forms of harassment leveled at our members or other members of the pagan community. Initiates are expected to abide by their initiatory oaths and respect the confidentiality of any oath-bound material from our tradition or another. And basically, this is just the start. We're going to give you guys a lot more information. Also, we're going to tell you just a little bit about how that you can uh, uh, check us out. First, of course, this channel, A Pagan Perspective, here on YouTube. Uh, we've got more things coming up. We've got more videos. We've got Druid School lessons that are being taught through video form here on the channel. And we're getting ready to do uh, Druid School number 11, which that's going to be coming out. We're going to be talking about the Seer's Path of the, of the three, the Bard, uh, Ove, and uh, Seer. So we've got that coming up. And then also... Uh, we have a presence on Facebook, and that is at uh, Missouri Druid School on Facebook, and we would love to have you come and join us there. And also, I have a uh, blogger 
uh, blog uh, uh, channel on uh, the internet, which is uh, where I post blogs of just anything that I'm thinking of throughout the year. Uh, we've done uh, things talking about various books, uh, various traditions, um, animals, just all kinds of things. So yeah, we've got just all kinds of things coming up uh, in the future. And also, while we're at it, we're going to give you this last little bit uh, today to tell you about our subscriber giveaway. We're going to be giving you guys a copy of the book, The Book of Spells, from Nicole DePolfert. And all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to let you know whenever our uh, next video for anything, whether it's uh, uh, Daily Druidry or anything else that we post. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an announcement video on January 10th, 2021. So all you got to do, if you want a chance to win this book, is put a comment into the uh, uh, end of this video. And I will link uh, the video also where we started this uh, uh, subscriber giveaway so that you can go there. And if you want, you can leave a video there, uh, uh, not a video response, but you can leave a comment there just saying you subscribed or hello or whatever you want to say. And then on the 10th, we will get a video together and we will take all of the subscriber comments and go from there. And if nobody, we're going to do this through a random drawing. Uh, it is currently open to those that are 18 and above and you live in the uh, continental United States. And this is a beautiful little book. Um, and if this book is not won by anybody, because we're going to do it with a random comment picker, if nobody wins or or whatever, we're going to put it into another drug, and we're going to up the ante. We might put uh, Athame in there. We might put some kind of druid uh, uh, jewelry. You never know. But if you want a chance to win, you got to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Get them to come to the channel. And just keep an eye out. We've got a lot more daily druidry. I think we're going to have another video that I'm going to put out this week before we do the uh, uh, giveaway uh, drawing reveal on January 10th. So I just wanted to take the time to give you guys a little bit more information about who we are and where we're going and what we're going to be doing in the future as this. And like I say, if you want to, check out my blog. And if you want to, come join us on Facebook. Missouri Druid School. We've got a lot of great people there. Until the next time that you see me, I'm Reverend Savannah Tree Walker, the Order of Standing Oak, from the Altar to the Ring. Blessings of the Gold Gods to you all. And we will see you next time.